And another close one. Yeah. Uh, it's good to be in them close games, because especially against the, the best teams as well, because it, it proves what we've said we are as a group, which is a competitive bunch, um, and an honest bunch as well. And week in, week out, we're turning up the boys. And th we're learning from this as a group, and hopefully we'll grow going forward from it as well. And the thing is now what we need to do is look towards the Middle East and see what we're really good at and be real consistent at that in the Middle East, get through that, and then we can grow as a team going forward. If you're a bit so lucky that you uh, you know, did it, did it happen? Yeah, no, I, I do. I thought we came up with it on getting yeah, some tough decisions. To be honest with you, at certain points of the game as well. But we seem to keep getting them tough decisions. Uh, maybe it's just us, but we just seem, it's like the one where Josh Griffin uh, he comes to catch the ball and the guy punches it out from his hand and it should be our ball, but we end up having to defend another set of six. And the one thing that we do, we're pretty poor at is we piggyback the team out of their end and give them some uh, good ball opportunities. And if you give good teams good ball opportunities, they're, they're going to score sooner or later. And so, especially a team the size of Paul as well, because they just keep wearing you down. It takes a lot out of you to keep defending them kind of characters. Game management improving though? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got better as a group as the season's gone on. Um, the big thing for us is obviously we, we looked at the first game of the season against Paul and then we shown the boys some of the things we were doing in there. And even they were saying we're, we're a different group than that game and we're a better group as well. And we kind of wanted to showcase that today. And we did in certain parts, uh, but there were still little parts that we didn't as well. And whether they come on the back end of some tough decisions as well. But I, I just think we can be smart in certain areas. And all the players agree that we can be definitely smart. There's times when sometimes we can chase in that line and make the defenders square, sit and square up. And then we can catch them. Sometimes we're just missing them opportunities and we're just not playing with our eyes up a little bit. Some good defence out there today. Though. Yeah, I think the defence has been one thing that's been really good generally all season when we work together. Uh, and we spoke about that this week because we've had a few issues on our right side. The right side have worked immensely hard. They've done extra, extra all the time, and the right side to kind of fix that up to make sure they're on the same page. And they're working hard on it all the time, and that's what I said about this group. They work hard, and if they know they need to fix something up and they need to learn from it, they work extra hard at it as well. And that's kind of the mental level we've got to take forward. Just a couple of one-to-one tackles, and then two of them tried to get him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there was one at the, the last one there where the uh, Fenua got away from Josh Griffin yeah. on a little bit of contact as well, and if he'd have come up a little bit quicker with Josh Jones, he might have solved that. And then there was one earlier on as well, which was a similar situation. So a little bit of contact. So I just thought there was a couple of our guys who were off a little bit of their contact today, but like I say, they're on the screen and they'd, they'd tell you it was off as well. Any concerns about the middle eight? Well, looking forward to it, to be honest with you, I think it's going to be a real good competition. Uh, what we've got to be is real positive going forward into that. We spoke at the beginning of the season about where we want to be and what to be a top eight team and what to even buy into that top six of the group. And we kind of proved we can consistently perform at that level. Now what we've got to do is not take our eye off the ball here. Now we've got to approach that as if we're playing the top eight now and go in them games and attack it straight from the off as well. And take the confidence forward from what we're seeing as a group not look negatively on it and start talking about relegation and stuff like that, but attack it from the off and be real positive about it. And you know what it takes, don't you, having gone through last season? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of them. It's, the good thing is hopefully we'll be, I think we'll set in the 10th family, so that's what we feel like a massive victory yeah, against Warrington. Yeah. yeah, so we'll get four home games, which is a plus for us, because the, the boys have said it in training during the week, but well, they love playing here and they love playing in front of our own crowd, and especially when the crowd back tonight, when we kind of got in front and the cheering and the crowd starts to get loud, that's what you want and that's what you want to play in. So if we can have that in our in the middle eight as well, they can help us uh, push through that middle eight. And you've got two new players as well. Yeah, oh, pleased with that. Yeah, brilliant. Um, to be fair, like it's been a mad couple of days to be fair. And um, I can only think of about much Tim's phone bill is going to be because um, <laughs> I've been on the phone a fair bit. But to be fair, Tim's been immense on this bit. It's, uh, yesterday we kind of had nobody and it kind of all fell through and then today, last night even, I don't know if we slept last night to be honest with you, he was just on the phone, phoning, phoning to get these uh, deals sorted out and he's managed to get the deals sorted out today so he's done a tremendous job for so today, two high quality players. Well, um, he's played at the highest level in the NRL and you don't play that level and you can't defend as well. So 
when we're asking our guys to do a hell of a lot of work off the ball defensively, first and foremost, and then the skill parts that he can add on the back of that in our attack game as well, he can give us another dimension as well. Luke's, Luke's the player who's played at the top level uh, in the Grand Finals in, in, in NRL. Um, so him coming across here will give us another real solid middle on the on, on the ability of what Coffey and George have been for us this year as well, where he's defensively solid, he can give us some real good goal forward on the back of them. Hopefully as well, he can be a real leader for us as well, because that's probably one thing that we have missed within the group, is that little bit more, another experienced leader, to be fair, and hopefully he can bring that in with him. Carney back for the middle eights? Yeah, um, he seems to be looking better um, day in, day out. He, he wouldn't have no chance to play today. Um, he's pretty nasty um, what he's got. He's, um, Looks like he's been kicked by an arse, let's put it that way. So, but he's, he's moving a hell of a lot better, so we're really positive that he'll be back for that. Any injuries for the knocks? Uh, there's a couple of knocks, um, I think we've come through pretty quickly, to be fair though. Um, Matt Flanagan's probably the worry at the moment because he's just knocked his shoulder up and he's been outstanding for us this year. It's like what we're saying about experienced leaders, he's one, been one of them for our group as well, and we, we don't want to lose him before that.